Hello guys, in this video I will be showing you how you can easily reset your one version of github commit to another version and how you can reset the added changes in the github all those things i will show in this video but before that i just need to say you if you have not subscribed my channel then please subscribe for this kind of coding related videos so let's start the video you should have a github account okay once you have a github account create i'm creating a repository to demonstrate you how you, that works reset one okay so first of all in the repository name i will give a repository any name you can give any name according to you or you have if you have a repository then just follow me what i'm doing so from here i have to take the remote because i have to add it in the place uh, where i will be working so this is the location here i need to initialize then i need to first of all open it with vs code then i'll open my terminal in the terminal i'll just paste the remote what i have copied it from the github then i'll click on enter now my remote is added now i'll create one file uh, let us assume that is text.txt one text file i've created here what i will do i will add some changes like commit one so this commit one what that commit one uh, message i have written i need to push it to github so i will do git add dot git add dot then i'll do git commit minus m then any message i will write commit one then i will push it to the master the first step i have done this so if i'll go to my repository and refresh you can see it the changes what i have added it there it will be reflected here okay this text dot txt but see i will add one more commit that is commit to and again i will do the same process i will add it again but this time i will change the message to commit to then i'll push it to master but if in future I need to go to commit one if I will refresh here in repository and I will click here you can see it is showing commit two. but maybe in future I also need to go to again commit one or assume here lot of code files are there okay so you need to go to one step back or any maybe 10 step back you need to go to that code so how you can go so for that what you need to do you need to write git log so in git log you will get this head okay so you need to copy that head to whichever commit you need to go or go back you need to copy that so this is the head you need to copy for copying in windows you can press ctrl shift and c and to check you can check it is it copied or not properly okay so if you need to go back to commit number one then what you need to do is to git reset minus minus hard then head name you need to give and click on enter so it will say now head is this and you can see automatically the text is changed to commit one and if in again some time i need to again go to that commit means commit uh, two so see this is the commit again you need to copy git reset minus minus hard then give that commit so now you can check if i will do now git log it contains two commits so similarly i can move from one commit to another commit and check the code and if any changes i need to do i can do the changes and push it to github at that time so this is what about git reset hard and one more thing that i need to show you if you have added some changes like git commit to some changes i have added and that you have done like git add dot you have already done and you need to come one step back like if you will do git status now it is showing that it is modified and you have added it so how you can come one step back for that you need to write git reset once you will write git reset now this is not in the added changes if you will now do git status and check it is again showing it mod uh, it is modified but it is not added so if you again need to add or do any add up any some kind of changes so you can add that changes and again do the adding step commit step then pushing state so after doing all the processes what you can do is to go to my channel and directly subscribe it like this video if it is interesting and share with your friend who are facing the problem for resetting anything in the github okay and if any doubt you have you can comment down in the comment section that's all for today guys thank you for